terms of thinking about the most relevant model systems for studying cancer, I would argue that there's no one good model system or the best model system. It goes with the adage that all models are bad, some may be useful. So when we think in our lab about studying cell intrinsic molecular mechanisms for human cancer, we generally rely on patient-derived xenograft models or organoid models for functional studies. Now in terms of cell extrinsic regulatory mechanisms, we tend there to lean more on genetically engineered mouse models or syngeneic transplantable model systems. And I think integrating both provides um, the end user an opportunity to study both cell intrinsic and cell extrinsic regulatory mechanisms.